Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to customize the bullet points on your Squarespace website. We're going to replace that small dot with a custom character, and then we'll do some additional effects like changing up the color and the size, and even adding a little bit of a border separator between your line items. Lots of fun stuff to cover today, and as always, the codes are listed in the description below. But let's hop on into my demo site, and I'll show you exactly how they work. Alrighty, so here we are in my demo site, and I'm going to scroll down here so you can see I have an example with just some standard paragraph text and a few items and bullet points. Underneath that, I have some in a heading one text type and a heading three because we're going to use code to isolate each one of those individually. Pretty excited to show you this. So this is the main code that we're going to use today. I'm just going to press command C on my keyboard here to copy this, and we're going to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS. Now this is where we'll be pasting the code. I'm just gonna press Control V on my keyboard to paste it there and you'll notice all of those dots have now turned to this arrow symbol. This arrow is a Unicode character. On my website at insidethesquare.co forward slash Unicode, I have a list of Unicode characters that are compatible with Squarespace and most fonts used by Squarespace. So head on over there if you're looking for some character ideas. You can just grab one of these symbols and just copy and paste it right off of this page, or you can actually type something. So right here in between those quotation marks, I have the arrow symbol, but I can also just say the word list if I want to. And you'll see that text is now displayed as the bullet point. I'm gonna go ahead and undo what I just did there and put it back to the arrow because I prefer to have a symbol, but you can type anything you want there to start off these bullet points. So you can also do so much more than just change the actual character. Let's go ahead and change the color of the font as well. I'm gonna add a semicolon and say color red. And now that arrow is a bright red color. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate it too. I'm gonna add another semicolon and say transform, rotate 45 degrees. And now that arrow is pointing down. We can also change the size of it. Let's say we don't like the size of the arrow for these paragraph text ones right here. Let's add a semicolon and say font size 2 REM. There we go, now it's gigantic but you'll notice it changed the font size for these ones as well. What if that was the exact custom bullet point we wanted, but only for a heading three text type? I'm gonna take this asterisk right here, which is kind of a catch-all in code, that little asterisk means any type of font, and I'm gonna change that symbol to H3. That's the code name for heading three. And notice my heading three list still has that turned arrow in that bright red color, but these other lists have returned back to the way they were. Now, what if we just want paragraph text? I'll remove the H3 part of that code and change it to the letter P. Now, just the paragraph, not the heading one and not the heading three, will get that unique style of arrow. What about heading one? Let's go ahead and change that to H1. And now that arrow is assigned as the bullet point style for only that type of heading, nothing else on my Squarespace website. You can also install that code on a single page. I'll link to a tutorial for that listed below. But I just want to mention one last time, we're keeping all of this stuff between these brackets right here. Anything between this quotation mark is what's going to be displayed as the bullet point. Right here, I've changed the color, and you can add all kinds of other things like changing the font size, the font weight, or uh, transform rotate like I did here. The important part to remember is right here in the code that I'm sharing below, it'll feature an asterisk. Change that symbol to P for paragraph text or H1 for your heading one. Heading one. <laughs> if you leave it at this asterisk, it'll change any bullet point used by any type of text on your Squarespace website. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. The codes we just went over today are listed in the description below, along with a few creative ideas for you to play around with. Don't forget that you can apply just about any font or typography CSS code to these characters that you're creating for your custom bullet points. So I wanna encourage you to get really creative with them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF, and you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.